Good evening, Leo. Welcome to Pure Tarot. I'm doing a reading um, that you'll find uh, on other channels, a kind of reading about, you know, what they're feeling, why, and what their actions are towards you. I don't usually assign positions. Um, that's my own choice. Um, you'll notice that on other videos if you... Um, keep watching my videos <laughs> or go back to the ones that I've created before. Anyway, um, it's a challenge for me, <laughs> believe it or not. I am using um, the Into the Lonely Woods Oracle deck. Um, it's a choice based on the fact that these cards um, relate to emotions. Even if some of the cards are alone, um, kind of more on the theme of being alone or left alone, if you want. And it's not to say that it gives the reading, it's simply to um, have some emotions um, to explore. Or more emotions to explore, I should say. <laughs> so these cards don't pop out uh, readily. I will so what is that top card <laughs> between two worlds so your person is feeling um I want to say they feel maybe I'm hearing both detached and out of body. So they might be experiencing um, some drift, feeling like they're drifting. Let's go to the tarot and see what they're really feeling. <laughs> what are they feeling now in this connection with you? The Queen of Pentacles in reverse. So I feel that they can't provide you with something. It doesn't have to be materials, of course. Um, it could, but not necessarily. It could also be being the earth elements. Uh, they might feel like they can't provide you with some kind of, I want to say, a resource or nourishment or steadiness, stability. They might also be very focused on their own, um, creating that in their life if it's lacking, right? So that could be the reason why they're having a hard time offering it to you if they are having to construct that for themselves as well, right? Upkeep it as well. Maybe they have to hustle, you know, like there's an energy of making ends meet. Let's see why. Oh, that was quick. The High Priestess. They're hiding it from you. They don't want you to know that they're having a financial, um, that they're having a hard time financially. They may feel ashamed. They might feel uh, less than. They might also have interest in um, 
spirituality, of course, and the occult. And so it's almost like there's a gap there between two worlds in these spheres because they have a life to live, bills to pay, etc. That, that might not be going super, super well. And yet they're interested by other things like Nitzah, tarot, astrology, and whatnot. And that could be one of the reasons why they're also not focusing on earning money or maybe it's distracting them from making money. <laughs> um, or maybe eventually they want to make money through that, but they're, they're not at the moment. And so right now they're stra straddling two worlds. But it's affecting the connection with you because I'm telling you, um, this energy is, they're not able to make it spill um, towards you, right? Spill onto you, I should say. It's not spilling over. They wish they had more to, to share, more to give. Um, and again, not just resources, maybe even of themselves. Maybe they're so um, deep into this study or... It's not necessarily study, but interest at least. I feel it's it's really new to them because you have a queen of pentacles. And I think that in the world, quote unquote, that we live in, uh, the majority of people, uh, it's a big generalization, a big state, generalized statement I'm making, of course, um, I'm conscious of that, so take some, leave some, but in this world, right, everything's, we're pretty much focused on what's your status, how much do you earn, where do you work, um, you know, it's a, do you have a big house, how many cars, what kind of car, etc., etc. So, it feels new to them. It feels like they're exploring something that they haven't because they might have been caught up in that um, mindset. And because the queen is in reverse, I don't think they're necessarily comfortable with that. I mean, not to say that they can't function um, and that they they don't necessarily want to acquire, you know, buy a house and, and earn money and whatnot and have a good job. Just, just to say that they're like, literally, we can tell their inclination. Um, And they're really straddling two words, worlds right now. And I really think it explains the lack of um, the, the lack of investment toward you, the lack of what appears to be a lack of interest, which is not. So they look like they're not a, a very generous person, generous of themselves, of their time, of their energy, of their love, you know, of their care, all of that. And they appear to you very secretive. They appear like they don't speak much. They don't tell you much. You're not exactly sure what they're up to. Um, and for you, you get a negative impression. You might even think that they're not solid, of course, the queen's in reverse, but because you feel like they're, they don't know where they're situated. Because they're having a hard time positioning themselves. 
Let's see what their actions towards you are. The Seven of Pentacles, that's a beautiful energy. You know, it shows me that the queen has the nurturing qualities. It's just that at the moment, I think they're struggling to make ends meet. They're at the stage where they need, they need to plant new seeds um, and they might not be, they're not harvesting yet. So they're not able to give you as much as they want to. They also um, are investing probably in this interest that they have, which might eventually bring in more resources, like a sideline, right? Um, a side hustle. Um, but they're really, really, really intent on focusing and investing in you and in the connection. <laughs> the figure here, I think he finds it hard work. <laughs> He's like, <"Oof." laughs> he worked up a sweat here, but still, um, I think um, the effort is gratifying. I think he knows um, he, she. They know that it's it it doesn't you know the seeds won't um, grow in one day and bear fruit in one day right also I think that they want you to see that they're they're taking some action it's not like um it's not a huge coming towards you action. It's not a big, um, it's not such a big demonstration, but there is, uh, you're able to see the, the effort, the investment. And when I say effort, um, I know it's not the eight of pentacles, but there's still um, sweat put into this, right? There's still um, energy put into this. It's also, um, I don't know why I'm getting this. It's almost like um, I'm hearing they want to grow you. <laughs> it's so funny. It's like part of the energy here is invested in you. And not just the connection with you. I don't know if you see the difference. It's like there's something that they're doing that is for you. That is um, kind of the energy of Feeding you. But it's not just food, right? It, it's like... No, it's more they're growing you. I'm not sure how to put it. For me, it kind of means like... They, they want to see you flourish. They want to see you grow. They want to see you expand. They want to see you bloom. They want to see you, you know, at your fullest. Um, you know, that's the energy. The thing is, the tricky part is that 
what they feel right now is that they feel that they can't really do that. So either you're not receptive to that or they might be, be because of the other interest and the, the maybe because they feel like they're straddling two worlds worlds <laughs> i've i've said it three times between two words that's really interesting i'm hearing between yes and no <laughs> Between saying yes or no, that's funny. But they will, they will um, create something with you and for you and. I want to say that they're almost using and depleting their own energy in order to feed yours. Almost. And maybe it's energetic because we have the high priestess. Sideline. Side, uh, side story or side thought. <laughs> Yeah, I think maybe some of it is uh, related to um, the psychic bond that they might feel with you. They can definitely um, sense you. Even if you're not in their presence, the queen is in reverse. At least that's what it looks like. Because... What they're feeling is they don't feel the proximity, right? Anyways, Leo, I will leave it here. Thank you so, so much for being um, here tonight, listening to the video. Please like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Yeah.